<laughs> Our university is powered by open source, and uh, we're, we're happy to not only use technologies that we can learn with, we can move with, we can grow with, but we're also happy to have some tried and tested stuff that we know works, and we're running it already. We have uh, about five servers. We have an e-learning server, we have a content server that we use to host our internet. We have a mail server, we get a proxy that also doubles as our mirror, and we also do a library server that runs Koha. All of these are Ubuntu server 10.04. We do Ubuntu Linux on the desktop. We have uh, centers on the mail. And uh, the rest of the flow, everywhere where students are, is all Ubuntu desktop. We run about three different distributions, Maverick, uh, Lucid, and Kamik. And we also do e-learning and Moodle. We have about uh, over 100 e-learning students at different stages throughout their master's courses. And they all study by distance learning. It's a very good uh, thing. We've not found as many problems as people like to make us think when you're using open source. Very little support, though it's all techy and uh, you have to be very techy to know how to use it. That's not true. A lot of our students are not as techy as you can think. The stuff, the ICT stuff are, but the other stuff are not very techy. And I, our students are health best students to study health sciences courses. So having them use Ubuntu and stuff and stuff is a mental shift. A lot of us grew up using Windows and that's what we know. But these people have fitted in absolutely well. Whenever they have a fault, any kind of problem, they walk up to us and they will say this and this is going on, I need help. Which usually they don't. As long as they can understand that there's a whole new way of doing the same thing that you used to do in Windows. You can do that on Linux. That's it. Once the mentorship is over, people browse, do everything just the original way that they would do anything else on a Windows computer, and it's all fine. We don't have major complaints. Our staff are also good. Our staff use uh, netbooks for some of their classes. The netbooks are going to desktop. A lot of them will just upload their work to their mail virtual space that's stored in the mail server. When they come to class, they access that. Pull up the work, perform a lecture, shut the netbook, bring it back to ICT, and they're off to their desk. Nothing printing. We minimize printing as much as possible. We also don't use a lot of uh, memory sticks here at ITSU, security reasons, usually. But as much as possible, when you become a student or a member of staff at IHSU, you get some space on the mail server. So you can dump all your files and all your mail there, and you can go anywhere on this floor, access it, and use it without the need to print. We have wireless across the entire floor. And uh, anywhere on this floor, you can access it. We have an intranet that's accessible anywhere on this floor. Of course, you've seen uh, the website. We've tried to make sure that uh, we make our website as informative as possible. We try to make sure that uh, the links, when you get to one of the links, you actually get the information that you're looking for as much as possible. We have a student guild. It's a, it's a blog. That's a, I think it's a WordPress blog that has just been uh, modified a little. Let's. So, we're here. Everything is good. We like what we're using. We don't have problems at all. When we're stuck, we write to the Linux user group, mailing list, and we find solutions. That's IHSU. Do you, um, do you have people asking you for copies of Ubuntu to take home? Yeah, usually we do. It's not really to take home. Most of our students will come with their computers here and they will ask to get a copy installed for them. And they usually prefer to hand the computer to a technical person. We do an installation, we help them set up well, they come and pick it when it's done. Uh, we 
not found many people who are comfortable, confident installing it on their own. Although we have copies of the software available for anyone who wants. If you're on this floor, you update or do your upgrades and updates from a local mirror. You don't need to go out. And that saves a lot for most people. Is that a full mirror? Yeah. So you got a full mirror of the Ubuntu? Yeah. Ubuntu UG.archive. Yeah. Okay. And you keep that up to date all the time? Yeah, all the time. Cool. Didn't know that. In, are you associated with Open University? Sorry? Are you associated with Open University? No, we're not. We're not. This university is part of uh, the International Medical Group. The foundation that's uh, led by Jose Zak. And uh, IHSU is uh, the academic side of it. It started when uh, IHK was still in old Kampala and they needed to start training nurses on their own. So it started as a sort of a department for nursing, just doing a little training. Over time it has grown into a university. We have a provisional license. I think we're supposed to be chartered sometime this year. The National Council has uh, taken all our information, documentation and everything. We should get our university chartered this year. And, uh, everything has been good. We try as much as possible to use ICT in a, in a, in a very efficient way. Our students uh, use what email address for all their print jobs. They send an email to scan at IHSU. The next time they just go to one room and they pick up a print. So it reads the attachment and prints whatever's there? No, someone someone actually manages the okay. email address and they will do all the printing there. Okay. So we have one print bureau for all the students. They'll be printing and copying there. Of course, we have network printers across the floor for staff and the administration. Yeah. Very soon we are we 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 trying to to sign up with uh, our university has previously gotten into a consortium with other universities as, uh, to, to try and join a fiber network called REN and uh, the discussions are still going on but ideally what that's supposed to do is it's supposed to link us along with other universities onto one fiber network within the city and within the country. That is still happening, but now we still get a feed from Infocom, the service providers. Uh, what could I say about Infocom? <laughs> the usual. On, off. As long as you get the right support, as long as you get what you're paying for, our goal is to try as much as possible to push them so they give us what we pay for. We make that available to our students. So all our server staff, mirrors and stuff happens overnight. During the day we try as much as possible to make the network available for students. We limit Facebook during uh, study hours. It's the usual university stuff. But when we get bigger and better, we should be able to let Facebook run the whole day. So now we just think uh, you'll be straining the system, you'll be keeping people off the internet for a bit. So it's down for now during the study hours. But if we get a better link or we get better systems, there's no reason why it shouldn't be here all the time. What um, challenges do you do you kind of face when you're I mean do people come up and say I really need Windows for X? Yeah, we have we've had some of those. Usually it has been uh, statistical packages. A lot of statistical packages still run on Windows. SPSS. SPSS and the like. And uh, open source alternatives are either not very user friendly or in the sense that as ICT, we can help with identifying a tool and installing it, but we're not technical enough in the statistics to say this is the best application for you to choose. So we help make the application available but we still hand it over to whoever made the request. Yeah. And uh, we don't really know if we got 100% out of what they wanted or not. Yeah. 
So we still get challenges with people who want to use applications that are still on Windows. And uh, for that, we have one computer in one of our labs that's dedicated. It's just Windows. Uh, everything happens on there for all the statistical stuff. Have you tried um, PSPP? Yeah, we've tried PSPP, we've tried R, we've tried uh, the third one, I forget, the okay. third one, I remember. But uh, again, because as ICT, you, you don't use statistics that much for you to know the difference between the two, which yeah. is better and stuff. It's a, it's a so subject in itself. Try and make it available as much as you can and hope that the person using it can give you the feedback and then you take it from there. Any other questions?